Hey everyone, so right now I'm at Scarlet Monastery and today I wanted to uh, make a quick video on SM herb farming for Grave Moss and Fade Leaf and how you can herb for these as well to better prepare for phase six, whether it be for Nax prep, you know, getting more greater shadow protections for Glotheb, or you're just trying to make some extra gold. This video is gonna to explain to you how to get these herbs in the most fast and efficient way possible. Uh, so the farm for this route is SM Graveyard first, so, SM Graveyard has three nodes. These can all be either King's Blood or Grave Moss. After that, you go to SM Arbory for one node of Fade Leaf. And then finally, SM Library for one node of Fade Leaf before you do your reset. Uh, so here, as you can see in this video, uh, we're running through Graveyard right now and we're just about to enter the courtyard area. And this location is gonna have three herb spawns that are randomly spread throughout. Um, they shouldn't be too hard for you to find all of them. The only catch here is that each of these spawns can be either King's Blood or Grave Moss. Now, if it is Grave Moss, that's great. Uh, you can pick it up and move on to the next one. But if it's not Grave Moss and you do get a King's Blood spawn, like in this video, um, it's really not worth anything. And I would suggest just skipping it. Um, so as you can see in this video, I got one Grave Moss, ended up finding a King's Blood, skipped it, and then uh, found an additional Grave Moss, which I picked. And after I pick up the final Grave Moss, it's time to just move on to SM Armory. Um, but while I've got this video of the route plane, which is pretty um, intuitive if you just watched the video, I, I wanted to talk about you know why you'd want to do this farm in the first place over other gold farms. So I honestly think this is the highest gold per hour in the game right now, arguably even better than boosting if you're not doing Mara 300 plus bolts. Um, now on an average lockup for this, you know, doing graveyard, armory, and library five times, I've personally gotten 19 Fade Leaf and 17 Grave Moss uh, on average per lockout. And I know these results are going to fluctuate a bit over each lockout, but that's my current average over the course of 20 different runs. Uh, now, right now on Alliance Herod, at the time of this video, Fade Leaf are selling for one gold and 64 silver each, while Grave Moss are selling for one gold and 75 silver, uh, with GSPPs being around 14 gold. So on an average run, you're looking at almost 60 gold per lockout. And on my mage, it takes me somewhere between 20 to 25 minutes normally to do a lockout. So you're looking at something like 140 to 180 gold per hour, essentially, uh, which is honestly a really, really nuts farm for how easy this is. And depending on your server and the price of SPPs and herbs, uh, this may be better or worse. Um, also, another thing to point out is that it might be better for you to either keep them as raw herbs or actually can buy the dream foil convert them into a gspp it really depends on the economy of your server um, but what i would personally recommend is keeping a mix of some raw herbs and some gspps and that way you have some available to sell off in either market and just make sure you're moving through your inventory as quickly as possible um, now in this video you know we're moving out of armory uh, we're moving into library for the final wing so one thing that I will point out is in this video, I'm doing this on a mage, and I think the optimal classes to be doing this on are either a mage or a rogue. And the big reason for that is the paths in library can be kind of difficult to get around. Um, not that they're too hard to kill, but if you're trying to do this on a healer, it could definitely be annoying. Um, just, you know, on a mage, I can just blink through, but it can be harder on other classes. So um, while, while in this video, you can see the timer, it's probably gonna take me about three and a half to four minutes for the entire run. Uh, Definitely might take a bit longer depending on the class you're doing at, but either way, it's extremely doable and extremely fast. And you know, compare this to boosting, where maybe your boosties are going to die, you can die, uh, you lose a run, you lose 20 minutes getting gold. This is just you know, whenever you have spare 20 minutes or less, really you can just do one reset, right? You log in, pick some herbs, and you're guaranteed a solid return in your time. So go out there and get ready for phase six. Thanks, guys.